They'll be along shortly. <laughs> <laughs> While we're waiting, uh, I want to tell you all a little bit about the history of the people here. You know, most of the people in this area are French speaking, they're descendants of the original Acadians that came here from Acadie, which was a French colony in the Nova Scotia, New Brunswick area. They were exiled from there by the British, and a lot of them came to South Louisiana at a time when the Spanish had control of the territory here. The Spanish had actually sent word and recruited them to come and live here because they wanted to try to build a force against the British in the event the British tried to colonize this area, and they couldn't get any more Spaniards to move out of here. And Long story short, the British never came, the Spanish left, and the Cajuns stayed. <laughs> a lot of them lived in these backwaters in this area uh, on floating houses that they built on cypress logs. They would cut a few trees down, raft the logs together, and build their homes on it. As time went on, they made their living in here harvesting the cypress trees. The uh, uh, timber harvest was uh, all done by hand with hand saws and axes, and it's a pretty rigorous process. Typically, Two men would paddle a P-roll from tree to tree. One guy would climb to the top of the tree with a handsaw and cut the top off. The other guy would cut a notch on each side of the tree just above the water line. And in that notch, they would insert a cypress board that was anywhere from three to six feet long, drive a wedge to hold it in that notch, and then climb out the P-roll and stand on the very end of that board. And what it did, it gave them room to push and pull the big passepartout, the two-handed crosscut saw, and swing an axe also after the tree would bite down on the saw. After they would cut all the trees in an area, they would wrap those logs together and wait for the spring rod. Before the levees were built, the Chafalaya River was the deepest and swiftest river in the world, and the currents would come through here with massive velocity in the springtime. And they'd use those currents to move the, uh, the logs into the river, once they were in the river, they'd float down to the closest sawmill and sell their logs. Living conditions for those people were really hard too. The summers in here are very hot and humid. The nights in here are filled with mosquitoes. They'll literally eat you alive in here. And the only thing they had to repel the mosquitoes back then was alligator oil. They learned from the local Indians. They would take a large, kill a large alligator and melt the fat down into an oil and rub that in all over them to keep the mosquitoes away. Kept the neighbors away too, I imagine. Had to be yeah. awful smell. Here it comes. One coming from way out there. Yeah. There's going to be quite a few of them after a A Chafalaya is Choctaw Indian, meaning long, swift river. Did y'all know vegetarian was also an Indian word? <laughs> <laughs> it means poor hunter. Yeah. There it comes. That's cool. That's right, 400. He's going, I'm coming. I'm coming. Dinner bed. That's like calling up your puppy. Yeah, for sure. Hello. Fred over there. Fred's a crazy alligator, so we got to kind of keep an eye on him. Where Fred? Right. Come in here. Uh, yeah, you can tell. He's got something on his nose already. Oh, 
listen to in here? Yeah. I don't listen to that. Just ride that thing right there. Mm, you Now why you gotta go there? There he is. He right there. He's right there while you jump. See you can make some money. Mm-hmm. That one turned around. Well, maybe one more chicken bite. That's right. 